Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. What is the shortest distance between the circle A defined by the equation, the square of x minus five plus the square of y minus four is equal to four, and the circle B defined by the equation, the square of x minus one plus the square of y minus one is equal to one. That's part one of the question. Part two, there is a point P on circle A that is closest to circle B, and there is another point Q on circle B that is closest to circle A. What are the coordinates of points P and Q? This question is adapted from a 2007 Oxford entrance exam. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To solve this question, we will get started by sketching the graphs of circle A and circle B. Now recall, if a circle has an equation that's equal to the square of x minus h plus the square of y minus k, is equal to r squared, the circle will have a center at h comma k and a radius equal to r. So from the first equation, the circle has a center of 5 comma 4, and its radius will be equal to the square root of 4, which will be equal to 2. So we will sketch the circle A like this. We then have circle B, and its center will be equal to 1 comma 1, and its radius will be equal to the square root of one, which is equal to one. So circle B looks something like this. So how are we supposed to find the shortest distance between the two circles? This is quite a daunting problem. Let's go through a thought exercise. Imagine we have a point P that's on circle A. We could consider all possible paths to circle B. From here, we want to take the shortest path and let's say that it, this is the path. So this would be the point Q. So we would take the length of PQ in this case, but that's only if we put P at this point. We have to consider all other possible positions of P. Let's say the point P was over here. We would consider all possible paths to circle B. Then we would take the shortest path. Then this would be the point Q. So we have to consider all possible paths PQ and then take the shortest one of that. In other words, if we have some arbitrary point P over here and an arbitrary point Q over here, we want the minimum length of PQ. So there's no obvious way to do this. So when a mathematician is stuck on the problem at hand, a mathematician can use a clever trick. Transform the problem into another problem that can be solved. So in this case, we're going to add a couple of distances. Construct the path AP, which will be a radius of circle A, and construct the path QB, which will be a radius of circle B. We now have a path going from A to B in terms of the path APQB. So let's transform the problem into minimizing the path going from A to B. So it's made up of three different segments. We have AP plus PQ plus QB. But what can we say about the length of AP and the length of QB? AP is a radius of circle A, so its length will always be equal to two. QB is a radius of circle B, so its length will always be equal to one. So if we minimize the distance between the path going from A to B, this will be equivalent to minimizing the length of PQ because AP and QB will always be fixed lengths. So if we could just minimize the path going from A to B, we would solve our problem. But what's the minimum distance between two points in the plane? It's going to be a straight line. So let's construct the straight line segment AB. The intersection of this line segment with the circle A will be the point P. 
and the intersection of this line segment with the circle B will be the point Q. So what's the length of AB? We can figure this out by the distance formula. We have the square root of the square of the difference in x values, this will be 1 minus 5, plus the square of the difference in y values, this will be 1 minus 4. So we have the square root of the square of negative 4 plus the square of negative 3. This works out to be 5. So AB has a length that's equal to 5. We know the radius of circle A is equal to 2. The radius of circle B is equal to 1. So we take 5 and subtract out 2 and 1. We are left with 2, and that is the length of PQ. So the shortest distance between the two circles is equal to 2. And we've solved part 1 of the question. Now what are the coordinates of points P and Q? So one way to solve this problem from the official solution is to think about vectors. So let's construct this right triangle here. The difference in x coordinates from A to B will be equal to 4, and the difference in y coordinates from A to B will be equal to 3. So the vector BA has a value that's equal to 4 comma 3. So to figure out the coordinates of point Q, we're going to start at the point B and then add some proportion of the vector BA. In particular, we know that the entire hypotenuse has a length that's equal to 5, and this first segment, BQ, has a length that's equal to 1. So we want exactly one-fifth of the length to be added, or one-fifth of this vector to be added, from point B. So the point Q is equal to B plus one-fifth of the vector BA. So we substitute these values in of 1, 1, and one-fifth multiplied by 4, comma, 3. We then just need to simplify, and we end up that the point Q has coordinates of 1.8 comma 1.6. We just need to do the same exercise to figure out the coordinates of point P. We will use the same method of starting from the point B and then adding some proportion of this vector. In this case, the length BP over BA is equal to 3 over 5 because PB has a length that's equal to 3. So we want to add 3 fifths of this vector. So we start with the point B then add 3 fifths of the vector BA. So we substitute in these values. And now all we need to do is simplify and we get that the coordinates of P are equal to 3.4 comma 2.8. And that's the answer. What an incredible question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.